to interview Catherine. Oh, I thought here. you were doing a tour. I'm doing everything. <laughs> okay. And so now she comes up to me, have I told you that there were graves here? No. Um, that is a grave. A grave? The ashes, uh, it marks a grave of um, Norm, Norma's grave. And Norma used to live when this building was under construction. She slept right out there on the sidewalk at the construction wall. And so um, she happened to be someone that, you know, wasn't too friendly towards us. And, and But one night when we served soup, uh, one night a week out on the street, she came by and she had her hospital bracelet on and she had her hospital bag of possessions. And, and she said that she just gotten out of the hospital. They told her she had TB and she shouldn't be on the street. So we took her home. And we checked her papers and actually she didn't have TB, she had cancer. Oh. And so, uh, so she spent her last days there with us and we could not find anyone that knew a relative. But we had power of attorney so we had her cremated and we decided to bury her, her right ashes here. right uh, inside from where she had What was her name again? Norma. Norma? Mm-hmm. But this is part two to the story. Oh, that was a great story, Some but okay. Some years later, part two. a man came to the door at our house and he said he was looking for his aunt and the family had sent him out here from some other state, I've forgotten where, and uh, to find his aunt. And people on the row had said, well, you should talk to Miss Kathy. So he came to talk to Miss Kathy, and sure enough, it was Norma. And I said, well, I can tell you where she is. She died and went to heaven. And I can take you down and show you where she's buried. So he was very, very touched, and he said, do you have anything I could take back to my family? Well, I couldn't think of anything that we had that belonged to Norman. Usually we had a little something or others, but couldn't think of anything. And then I thought, well, I do remember one thing that we have. We have an umbrella from Santa Anita Racetrack, the kind that they give away on certain days. And you want that? <laughs> he was delighted. It was as if he I had just given him a treasure. So it used to belong to her. So it was her, her oh. umbrella. And it had become part of our umbrella stash. Oh. And at I, the house. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And I just happened to remember that that we still had it. So I gave it to him and he left so happy. End of story. I can imagine, because only God, what is it, six billion people on the planet, only God could have stirred him, steered him here. Uh-huh. Only. Yeah. In my humble opinion. Yeah. So this so is where she's buried, her ashes are buried, huh? Well, what is that, a big lily? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how beautiful. <laughs> So she rests in peace right here. Let me back up. It's a up. stargazer lily, by the way. My stargazer favorite. lily. My favorite. And so she rests in peace right here, right here when she used to live out here in the streets. For people that don't know, this is a block where there's lots of people that live, you know, on the street. Mm -hmm. So how touching. So that's, that's Norma's story. Oh, that was cool. Okay.